All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Wheezy's Collectibles. And today we have something a little different. Uh, as you can see, you know, Pokemon cards aren't made by Bandai. So we're doing a little something special today. Today we got the, this is the, is it Super Dragon Ball Heroes or Dragon Ball Super Heroes? I always get it mixed up. I don't know where the super goes in the sense, but it's one of the two. And it's the, as you can see, the 10th anniversary special set. So we're going to get cracking into this bad boy. I know it comes with uh, sev seven promos. It comes with seven promos. Uh, Oh, I gotta get some scissors. It comes with seven promos, it comes with the CD, and then the binder, and then after everything, uh, I'm going to transfer over all my rare vintage and modern Dragon Ball cards, uh, ranging from the Dragon Ball Super card game back to Card S Hondan from 1989, I think that's the earliest, that's the earliest card I have. Or it might be 91, I'm not sure. But either way, we're going to go through every Dragon Ball card that I own today. Alright, so let me get some scissors and we'll be right back. Alrighty. So, here's the box. And, oh shit. Damn, there it is. Let me just get the camera up for the full action. God damn! That shit's sexy, and it's like gold paint on top of the leather. So that's how you know it's a bougie set, or a bougie little little gift, little piece of candy. All right, so let's continue on. Let's see what we got inside of this bad boy. All right, so the protective coating's off. First, I feel, oh, a little... A little, it's like a pamphlet or a poster. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's the music collection, special music collection. So yeah, that's the CD I was talking about. I guess um, it's all the music from the show and then the game is, oh wait, Dragon Ball Heroes. I don't know what GM means, but then there's Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Okay, so Super Dragon Ball Heroes, that's the way it is. Things will never be the same and that's it. I kind of like the little backpick, though. It's got Goku and then fucking the Avatar Goku that you could use in the game. I don't know. I've never played the game, obviously. I just like collecting the cards. Yeah, I told you I was short on space. So here's the, uh, the CD that it comes with that has all the music on it. Whoopity-doo. I probably will never listen to it, but it'll be nice to have. That's for sure. So here we go. Here's a nice CD. Music by Masakazu Sugimori. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so there's that. And I think it's now the time that we've all been waiting for. It is pr <gasps> promo time. Oh, why are they all sideways and shit? That's scary. Oh, don't fall out. All right. So our promos are a little all over the place it seems that's how they come uh i don't know why some are inside of the sleeves and then some are not but let's let's get a peek let's get a peek uh, let's get a peek uh. peek uh, peek uh. all right so it just seems like we got a bunch of sleeves as well Oh, and I gotta put these bad boys in sleeves, too. Wow, these are some premium-ass cards, that's for sure. Oh, and it comes with sleeves? Look, 10th, 10th anniversary sleeves. That's actually pretty pretty cool. I didn't even, I didn't even know it came with these. So, we're just gonna go oh, one, one by one and see what we got. If I could... Open these a little bit better. Damn, son. Oh, it's because there's tape. Good one. Good one. Let's start off. Um, first, I don't know exactly each price of each of these cards, but I know some of them go for about 80 to 90 maybe even a little bit more. So we'll have to see. 
As of right now, I don't know, but editing Christian will be able to tell you. So there is, uh, I mean, it kind of looks like Gogeta, but Super Baby. So maybe it's like Super Baby absorbed Gogeta or Gogeta absorbed Super Baby. I don't know, but he's great aping. He's got like the, the Gogeta uniform on. Pretty cool card. I like all the all the texture. Like you could tell it's premium because it's got like the the animation style, but then it's got like that holographic part, all the shininess like on the fist right there. All it like kind of protrudes off the card, so you could tell that it's nice and textured. So there's number one. Just the first one we've seen. Alright, so these Next two, or I'd say, yeah, let's just, yeah, these next two are going to be the ones that I initially saw that I copped the binder for. Like, these are the reason so that I got the binder. All right, so these two cards right here are exactly why I got the binder itself. These, I know are going for around 80, 90-ish as well, somewhere around there. I remember just seeing a picture on instagram i think on the feed and i was like holy crap what where are those what are those like i gotta have those and then i found out that you could only get them in the set unless you're gonna pay way more from single so we got the set by the way uh the whole 10th anniversary collection set was 180 dollars that i got off ebay so if you find any for over 180 dollars i wouldn't get it you know i'd i try to weigh your options before making the purchase but yeah, we got a sick, sick ass Goku. Like just, they took out one of the colors and just replaced it with silver or platinum and holy crap, that thing looks crazy. And then the same for Vegeta, but you know, Vegeta's like maybe top five favorite characters. I don't know, he's okay. But Goku, Goku and Gohan, number one and two, baby. Uno dos. Oh, and I like Piccolo too, Piccolo's pretty cool. That's about it. That is about it. Okay, so this is the mini Goku. This is like the Avatar character. That's like I'm. I'm pretty sure with the game itself, you could create your own avatar. No, so I'm pretty sure this guy is like the stand-in avatar, like custom-made character, but for the the little show itself, you know, because I've seen him. A couple times animated flying around but like i said i don't know too much about it obviously it's in japanese so i can't really you know tell but i'm just trying to give my best assumption if that's worth anything all right so these cards right here are the money cards especially this one that i'm pulling out right now next we got the original super saiyan one goku from when he was fighting frieza he was like frieza and yeah, it says HR at the bottom, so I don't know if that means hyper rare or what the hell that means. I I have no idea. Oh, I keep forgetting that they have backsides as well. So there's the backside. He's got 27, 36, and 20, whatever that means. Hell yeah. Also, the sleeves do it justice. I love the little stamp that they got on the, the corner. So there's Goku. We only have two more promos left, and then it will be the whole collection time. All right. So we have today the, I don't know if you'd call it the final, final flash, because he doesn't, you know, put his hands together like, Aah! he doesn't do that. But that's when he explodes against Boo, Fat Boo specifically. And he was Majin Vegeta, as you can tell by the little M on his forehead. He's got M's, baby. M's! So yeah. Hell yeah. It's another sick-ass card. The main the main cards that I really bought this thing for was this one, this one, and then that one. So we have a lot of promos now. And a, lot, a nice little bit of binder candy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then the final promo that we have is going to be Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Um, I believe this is when he's fighting Zamasu. 
because I mean that's really the only time. Actually, no, no, they have it. They have Vegito in the freaking Dragon Ball Super Heroes or Super Super Dragon Ball Heroes. There you go. Yeah. So that's the last promo. So let's just get a quick little glance over everything we've got. We got Vegito, Super Saiyan One Goku, Majin Vegeta, uh, fucking guy. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and then Gogeta Baby? Ah, uh, fuck if I know. Alright, and so, the next time you see me, everything is going to be in our new binder, our new special binder that we got, and uh, we'll just go over all the cards that we have then. Alright, so we are back, and we now have... Oh, shit. We now have all of our cards, well, most of our cards, inside of our binder. So let's get a 100% Dragon Ball. Wow, dropped a penny. Uh, Dragon Ball collection. So we not only have this binder that has all my modern stuff with a little bit of vintage, but this is my vintage binder right here. As you can see, it is a 100% legit card ass station safe file. System file. Wow, good one. So first, first off, we are going to do this bad boy so let us start i'm actually just gonna have this on my lap so you could see everything so here's all the cards we just went over today oh actually oh no that's the next page sorry i forgot there's two missing so all the promos we just went over so this page is my special card ass Hondan. So like how this was a special set, the 10th anniversary special set. Back in the day, back in Japan, for the card ass Hondan series, they would also have special sets for events and, you know, holidays, stuff like that. So um, as you can see, these are the three GT arcs. There's the starting one. Um, then it goes to this one. Then it goes to this one. It's the freaking... That's Baby, obviously, Pan, Goku, Trunks, I, that's the robot dude, that's Gogeta, obviously, and that's also Super Baby. And then here, we got more special cards, this is a Dragon Ball Super card as Hondan Premium, as you can tell, it gives you a nice little explanation at the top that it's the Premium Edition. So, yes, we got a nice little Vegeta card, uh, we got Ultra Instinct Goku, and then we got... I don't know what that's from. I mean, obviously, it's just Goku with all the Dragon Ball Z baddies, but I was thinking it was from somewhere. All right, then we got Dra more Dragon Ball Super Premium. We got the uh, Zamasu Saga, the Revival of F, and then we got the, not the Tournament of Power, but just the tournament between 6 and 7. All right, now we're getting into Dragon Ball Super. Super card game, I believe. So here, up here, we just got some three secret rares. Or they're SPR special rares, I think that, that, that they call them. That's what the P stands for, is special. Um, so you got Vegeta, uh, Evolved Super Saiyan Blue. Then you got Memories of the Past, Trunks. There's the, the SCR version. That's the autographed version of that one. I have all the lower versions of the cards for some reason. Because I didn't cop the autograph versions when they're still under $1,000, unfortunately. But we still got some good cards. Um, Focus Breakthrough, another SPR promo. Just a super rare, SR. That's a promotional rare. That one is also a promotional rare. So I got two promotion Gogetas. Yeah, there you go. I was getting mixed up. Twin Onslaught, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I have the better version of this one as well. Uh, this card, I don't know why, but this card's super expensive. Concentrated Destruction. Maybe because it's just cool, I don't know. But it's only a secret or a super rare. So, nothing too crazy. And then here's the money page, baby. These are all SPRs or above. So we got Baby Goku. Doing a Kamehameha, The Adventure Begins, uh, SPR. Uh, this one's my favorite, honestly. Like, even though it's only an SPR, this is my favorite card, for sure. Uh, we got Finishing Blow, So and Gohan. I like how it's also the BoJack movie, because you could see he's wearing Goku's clothes. 
So there's Goku in the back, obviously, looking down like, that's my boy. Um, Twin Ocelot, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. That's what I was saying when I had the upgraded version of that one. So this is the SR, and this is the SPR, as you can see right there. All right, so now we're SCRs, baby. So this one is about $125. I bought it for about $28. Bucks, I believe 28 to like 35 somewhere around there but uh yeah Goku and Oob seeds of the future the Dragon Balls will be them or will be there for them as you can see this got all the Dragon Balls and it's got Oob who looks like a very happy little boy all right this is my most expensive uh modern Dragon Ball card this is the Ultimate Force Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and as you can see it is a or you can barely see it is an SCR, which stands for Secret Rare. It's the same as that one, but you're only you're not guaranteed any Secret Rares, I believe, from a booster box. You're only guaranteed up to one SPR. So it's kind of like a like a gold card equivalent, but thirty times more rare, if that makes sense. Like comparing it to Pokemon. So, yep. We got those. We got another Vegito Hyper Hyper Rush Super Saiyan Blue. That one's only an SPR. These three are also SPRs. Um, Defender of Earth. That's a good one. And then this one is the the upgraded one of this one. The SCR is the autographed version. So that's the one that has just uh, Vegito's face, and then it also has. Uh, this signature is Sean Shemmel and then whoever the fuck Vegeta is. And then that is it for modernity. And let's get into our second binder. So, here we have, oh shit. Here we have my vintage binder. As you can see, it is all in Japanese. Um, there's a little thingamabobber right here that you could pull out and it's got a bunch of more japanese on it just pointing that out so this first page is going to be my most rare cards and then it kind of goes backwards in rarity until the last page and the last page has some rare cards so as you can see um these are super old from japan i can't take any of these out because for some reason, I don't know who the hell designed this shit, but to get your cards in there, you have to lift open this initial, like, top flap, and as you can see, it's connected, so it's only, like, half an inch, half an inch big to, like, be able to fit it in there, but then you also gotta slide it into here, so you gotta, like, lift this up, and then slide it in, and then lift it up more to, like, tuck the corners in. It's a pain in the ass. So I don't know what the hell or who the hell designed this shit, but they need to be sued. Anyways, that's why I can't take them out, so let's just look at them. So these two are, or no, it's these two. These two are special. They have a front and back. Uh, let's see if, oh no, I got shit. Um, I can't show you the back, but those two are my most rare. Uh, these two are actually both sets. So these two are a special set, and these two are a special set. Uh, you got Goku sending Boo to hell to get reincarnated. There's everyone giving him his energy. There's Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And there's Mystic Gohan in training. Uh, this one, we get just got all the Saiyans. That card's really fucked up, so I'm definitely not taking that one out. Like, the back's all peeling off and shit. Um, but yeah, we got that one. Then we got more Saiyans. Uh, the... The strongest Saiyans, I think that it was called. All that translates to something. And yada yada yada, obviously. Um, we got Debora and Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. We got Cell. Um, we got Gohan. We got another Gohan. We got another Cell. We got a Broly. So it's my favorite card is coming up here pretty soon. Uh, those both are like top five, top five favorite cards. Uh, Gohan riding the school on Nimbus. You got Angel Goku, Jesus Christ. Um, we got Gogeta, we got the family Kamehameha, we got Goku going brazy, 
So here it is. Here's my favorite card. So not these front two, but it's this one right here. This was the very first card that I bought that got me into collecting. Sorry if I have shaky hands. I'm holding like a tripod in a weird angle. But uh, yeah, that was the first card I bought. Um, if you guys have ever played the video game uh, Kakarot, then you'll know that as you progress and you look at your little Z menu, there's a little card area. And these are all the cards from back in the day, uh, the card has honed on. So I initially saw them in the game and I was like, oh shit, I gotta buy some of those. So I started with that one and then it just started a ripple effect, a big ass addiction. So moving on, we got more, we got Goku, we got Gohan, Boo, Trunks and Goten, Trunks and Goten, Piccolo going crazy. All right. So this is what I meant by it gets rarer towards the end. So these are my two oldest cards right here. These two, the Goku and Vegeta, those are both from 1989 or 1991. It's either the two. I can't think of them. These up here, as you can see, they're doing a, they did a similar thing, kind of like Pokemon cards, but they got the, sorry, I'm going to make this a little more stable. They got the Jump Festa stamp. So the 30th anime anniversary and so to get these cards i believe you had to like run a marathon or something and if you finished like a 30 kil kilometer <laughs> i don't know if that's far or not I, i'm just making shit up but i remember seeing a video on it but um you had to like run a marathon or something and then once you got to the end they'd hand out these cards uh by the card shops near the finish line so you got the oldest ones, my oldest cards, and then you got the rare version of them, or the rarer version, which is the stamped. And then you just got these two badass Vegitos right here. So you got him powering up, and then he's shooting his spirit sword. And then that's going to be it for all of our Dragon Ball cards. So, um, actually, I think I might have just a couple more. Oh, yep, here we go. Oh, those are Pokemon. All right, so we got Triple Flash, Triple Saiyan, Four Sun Goku, and then we got Kami's Power Piccolo. Sheesh! All right, so that's going to be it for all my Dragon Ball cards today.